Today we're talking about craft services. It seems so simple, but it's that amazing table that has all the food and the drinks on it and how that's changed a little bit in the new kind of COVID pandemic and the stuff we're dealing with right now. Here we go. Hi, this is Tom Malloy. I've raised over $25 million for financing movies. I've produced at the time of this video 16 films. I've written 30 plus screenplays and options sold or made into movies, 24 of those screenplays. And I've starred in a bunch of movies. So I'm an encyclopedia on filmmaking. All right, today we're talking about craft services, also called crafty. Now, what does that mean? That's very simple. It's that, it's that table that has all the snacks and the food on it, right? On the bigger films, you have an actual trailer that you, you go in and there's all the food laid out there. All right, that's different than the catering. Catering is two separate things. You can't say, well, just eat, you know, crafty and we'll get away with that. You actually have to have sit down meals for the film, lunch breaks for the film where you actually have catering. And I believe I did a video on that where I was saying that's one thing to never cheap out on, that you, you always want the top notch food because um, if you're paying a crew, you know, X amount of dollars and you have bad food versus you're paying a crew even 70% of X and you have an amazing food, they'll be happier, right? So always try to go for the great food. If you're doing a short film, all right, day or two you can do pizza and next day subs, fine, but after a while, people are going to get sick of that stuff, so you want actual good catering, and I've always tried to do that with every one of my films, but we're talking about Crafty. Crafty is that table that has the snacks on it. You can make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. You can have a banana. You can have a power bar. Uh, I always try to get, I love sugar-free Red Bull, and I always try to get people that say, oh, could you supply me with some sugar-free Red Bull, right? There's sodas, there's drinks, everything's there, and what it is is for the cast and crew, everybody on the film set, to be able to go and just eat stuff when they need to. Fruit snacks, anything, little candy. Uh, anybody that's watching this video that has been on multiple film sets know that there is something that is in every craft services table. I truly don't know why. Um, we've called it film food at, at times, but it's red vines. Don't know. I always, I gotta be honest, I like Twizzlers better than red vines. I think they taste better. Now somebody's gonna say, come up to me at one film market and be like, I saw this video, how dare you? Red vines are my life. But uh, I think that, I don't know what it is. I truly don't know why there's gotta be goddamn red vines on every movie set. I don't know. And it's just the thing. It's like, if I don't see the red vines, I'm like, it's not a real set. So anyway, so red vines are there. But anyway, what the craft services table is, or, or section, or again, trailer on the bigger films, is a place that anybody can go at any time and get, get uh, food. My kids on the early film sets, when they were really small, when I'd bring them to film sets, this was the thing that they were like, wait, 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 the food's there and we could just take it at any time? Like they, they, they were freaking out for the craft services uh, table. And um, the, what I would say is for your film, when you're putting it together, try to get an assortment of stuff, especially um, you have people that are vegan or maybe are gluten-free or something like that. So you wanna make sure you have options for all of those people. I always try to put like some power bars that are vegan power bars, Luna bars, something like that, whatever they are onto the table as well, if I'm the person that's putting it together. And now those are for the shorter films or the smaller movies. Obviously, if you have a bigger film, you have somebody in charge of that. Sometimes you can get the catering person also does the craft services table, which is a great kind of thing because then they kind of have it all under one umbrella and then you can get a rate for all of that stuff. Now, here's what I want to talk about. Uh, on, and I guess during the, this current COVID time and the pandemic, things are going to be changed a little bit, right? It's not going to be a space like a water cooler where everybody's kind of um, collecting and talking and things like that, which craft services can be on a lot of sets. People, you know, are talking about a thing. And you heard crazy Tom Cruise rant against two people. And I think they were at a monitor and um, talking with the masks off, but they could have been at the craft services table, you know, and that could be an, an issue right now. But so what I would say is, you know, I, I did a film where there was a craft services table through the pandemic and first off a lot of things were individually wrapped so it wasn't like something where everybody could touch the same thing you know the red vines and you pull it out actually the funny thing is now that i think about it that was the first set where i didn't see red vines because i guess you know for people touching it and stuff like that um so obviously there's going to be some changes right and the the person that was operating the craft services table had gloves on the mask on the face shield and was kind of handing this stuff to you versus it's not always like that. Usually the table's laid out and it's just like, you just take what you want, make a peanut butter jelly sandwich, eat it, go back to work, you know? So there's gonna be some differences that you're gonna have to realize with COVID restrictions. And now I'm not a COVID compliance officer. I can't be like, well, you gotta do this, that, and the other thing. I'm just saying what I've experienced from one set on a film and just kind of the, the logic of it all. So understand that, that there's gonna be some change with craft services, but that all being said, it, just like catering, craft services should be something that it's really cool. It's like if they know 
they can eat this candy bar, or they could uh, eat this power bar or something like that, or a cliff bar, and get back to work, and maybe that then um, the day goes a little bit smoother. So it's something, you know, catering is always good for those sit-down lunches that you everybody's excited about, and it's great food, but later on when people are getting hungry again, it's fantastic if you have a craft services table that has a lot of stuff, a lot of options for them to keep going and keep the energy levels up. If you want more videos and training on filmmaking, check out the link below. Also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.